Hello guys, so in this video we're going to be going over how to create VLANs on our Juniper switch and also how to trunk the VLANs between two switches. As you can see here, in this video we're going to be going over creating the VLANs, verifying, and creating a trunk interface as well as access interfaces. Alright guys, so let's get started. We have two switches powered on right now and connected via the interface GE000. If we do show interfaces terse, we can see that that interface is up and up. And if we do show LDP neighbors on the port, do interface. you can see that it is a 4248 port, just like this one. All right, so first thing is we want to create our two VLANs. We'll say we want to create VLAN 10 and 20. So first off, we go to configure mode, and then we say set VLANs, and then the VLAN name. So we'll just say VLAN 10. And then we say, the VLAN ID, which is the actual .1Q tag that we will be tagging, or if it's not to support, it will be assigned to that, but either way. And we'll say VLAN ID is 10. Alright, so now if we do show VLAN, you can see that it is created. Alright, so let's do the same thing for VLAN 20. We'll name it VLAN 20. And give it a VLAN ID of 20. Alright, so now that we made the VLANs, we need to uh, assign these two ports. So let's pretend that we have two computers, one on on port one to start start the ports count from zero up, unlike Cisco. So one on port one and one on port two. Port 1 will be VLAN 10 and port 2 will be VLAN 20. So how do we assign a VLAN to a port? So first off we say set interfaces. And then we have all of our ports. And also just like before you can go under the edit interfaces. I'll show you that. And then when you go to apply it, you can just say set in the interface. So we'll say set GE001 and we want to set the unit 0 because that is the logical interface and then family ethernet switch family ethernet switching which is the same as a switch port then we'll say VLAN members and then we'll say VLAN 10 so now, if we do show, you can see that port 1 is configured with VLAN 10. Let's do the same thing for v, for the port 2, for 20, VLAN 20. And if we do show, you can see that now Port 2 is in VLAN 20. Just want to show you something else. If you do display set after the show, it will actually show you the commands that you're that you need to type in to configure that instead of um, you know this. All right. So now that we did that, let's do show compare to rollback zero. So you can see that we added the two VLANs to the interfaces. So if we do commit. Alright, and then do top. Do show VLANs. Alright. So now we need to do the same thing on switch number two. Switch over. 
All right, so go to configure, and then we'll say the same stuff. And then the ports will say the same thing. So with, when you set the VLAN, you can either do by the name or tag, but let's do the name, then for the next one, there will be two. Alright, to the top, then compare, or show, compare, roll back zero. So we created the VLANs and we assigned the VLANs to the ports. So if we do commit. All right, so that's good. So now we need, now we want to make the trunk port. And like I said, GE000 is connecting the two switches. So let's make that our trunk. So if we go to edit interfaces again, do set. So when we do this, we want to say port mode and then trunk. So if we do go to the top, show compare, and then roll back, zero. You can see that now when we commit, it will be in trunking mode. So do, but one more thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we allow all the VLANs that we, we made. So let's go back up. We just do the same thing we did before, but say VLAN members all, so that will allow everything. And then we want to commit and quit. Make sure this goes through. Alright, now we go back to switch one. We want to do the same thing. And do show interfaces terse. See that's up. Do if we do show interfaces GE000, you can see that it is in trunk mode. And that's how you make a trunk. So there's also a different command that you can do for the native VLAN, which on Cisco is uh, VLAN 1 by default, but you can change it. On Juniper, nothing is untagged by default. So the, you do the same thing, but 
instead of saying port mode trunk, you can just say uh, native VLAN ID 10 or 20 or whatever you want it to be. Alright, so that's how you make VLANs and that's how you set the trunk.